the grunge era was the last time that rock bands dominated the charts. Yeah. And music today, I, there's a lot of bands out there that I love. There's a lot of great bands, but so much of it is so overproduced. Yeah. It sounds so mechanical and computerized and like on the linear time grid. And so I always appreciate when I hear some stuff like what you guys are putting out, which is a lot more just raw yeah. rock and roll. When, cause my, my band, the, when the black metal band ended, I was like, I don't really want to do metal anymore, but I still want to do emotional music. Like I'm always mm -hmm. super drawn to emotionally charged music, which a lot of those bands were, you know, it was, yeah. it wasn't about Absolutely. like, it wasn't about like your technical prowess. Although a lot of those, you kind of have to be a good musician to know when to do the least amount possible. And that's yeah. what people like Kurt Cobain, you know, Alice in Chains, a lot of those bands are so good at that. There's no artistic bullshit. It's like, it's to the point, I'm sitting here, here's a song, I'm having a conversation with you. There's no middleman. I mean, yeah, having good production helps, but even like a lot of those, like a lot of my favorite albums from that time, a lot of it was like off the floor. Like a lot of shit in in utero is like off the floor. There's no click. There's no yeah. like it's it's and that's the closest you can get to like a live performance. And that's what was so good about those bands. It's like yeah, simple guitar driven tracks that you can immediately get. Like that was yeah. that was the huge change from going from like post black metal fucking. 12 minute songs <laughs> it's like you know doing a song that you know sometimes i would limit myself i'd be like this song can be no longer than three and a half minutes that's the yeah, challenge that, that can be a challenge on its own it's funny because i used to play in bands and i recently remixed a band that i played in like years ago when i was in my teen years oh cool and <laughs> and i realized in the process of that we have these songs and i'm like why did we do this part for like, <laughs> yeah. like we don't need to do like, so i cut the music down when i remixed it i was like no like this doesn't need to go on this long yeah but if you had told me that when i was a kid i would have been like fuck you that's yeah fuck you man that. this is my artist integrity fuck you right. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, and that's like 90s music in general was kind of the last like you were you were pointing out there was kind of the last sort of decade slash movement where yeah it was like the biggest bands were shit like you know like um uh, uh what's that track by uh like bands like lit or like um yeah. Butch or you know there was these were just people playing in bands there was no like real gimmick there was no like there was nothing else to help sell like even in metal there's a lot of gimmicks and a lot of like yeah. theatrics and right you know like people like kurt cobain was like no you know they like lit off that and they were just like hair metal that had been ruling for so long fucking <laughs> just dismantled as soon yeah. as it smells like teen spirit dismantled Completely. the entire genre was gone that era is crazy too because i had this conversation with someone the other day about so around the same time that nevermind came out metallica's black album came out That's which right. was also a kind of a fuck you to the hair metal thing yeah because that was metallica's entire mo but someone brought up this point about how during that era all these like heavy heavy thrash bands like anthrax metallica um, you know, Exodus made kind of and made like mainstream albums, sort of like yeah. like the like Metallica did the Black Album. Anthrax had Sound of White Noise. Exodus had Force of Habit. Testament had The Ritual. Megadeth did uh, Countdown to Extinction. And oh so was, shit, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so Crazy. it was like I, I that hit, someone in the comments said that, and I was like, wow, I never thought about that. I'm gonna have to like do a do a video on that or something because that's crazy. But it really was. And that, that music too is still so beloved, yeah. Um, you know, by people like me who grew up with it, but then also a new generation of people. It's taking those pop influences too. I find, you know, in the '90s they really leaned into it. Like, yeah, we're we're rock bands, we're metal bands. But what happens when we take that? Um, I, mean, I don't want to say formulaic because that's that can have a negative connotation to it. Sure. But to take those like elements of pop music, hooks, huge hooks, like repetition, yeah. uh, quiet to heavy on the courses, you know, things like that was like, yeah, bands like Metallica were, were like, hmm, I think there's something here that we can take and utilize and steal and put into metal music and make it and bring it really to a whole other level. 